for the question from 2011, January C3, it's question four, it's quite a simple question here. So it's tan squared theta minus, equals one minus sec theta, and between naught and two pi. So I'm gonna be using one plus tan squared equals sec squared. So always rearrange the squared one. So tan squared is sec squared minus one. Now just take your time with this. It's quadratic, so put everything on one side. So bring that over, it becomes a plus. Bring that over, it becomes a minus. This fact rises out, so it's sec add two, and it's sec theta minus one equals naught. So sec theta equals minus two, sec theta equals one. Remember sec is one over cos, so you just turn that upside down to get it in workable form. Principal angle is inverse cos a half, which is pi over three. Your interval ran from naught to pi, so just go around cast the normal way. C, A, S, T. Cos was negative, so it's these two quadrants. So your first answer is pi minus pi over three, and the second answer is pi plus pi over three. To find the cos equals minus one graph, I would always, or sorry, to find how to do it through a graph. So it equals one at zero, and it equals one at two pi.